when you see these toothy terrors in action, it's easy to see why they need to be treated with respect and even a healthy bit of fear. Here in Australia's far north, humans and crocodiles are trying to find a way to live side by side. Experts have been working hard to increase the croc population here for the last 50 years, since the species is on the verge of extinction. But why is that? The problem comes when the places where humans want to live and work clashes with where these fierce creatures already have their home. That can put humans in danger and can lead to crocs being hunted and killed. So in Darwin, in the Northern Territory, they have thought outside the box and built the crocs their own home. This park takes in the fiercest, most at-risk crocs in the area and tries to keep them happy, comfortable and out of trouble. Jess is a keeper at the park and says the crocs have a right to be here too. We have got 47 of them in this river. A majority of them, again, are wild caught, so they've all been problematic out in the wild, causing grief, too close to human life. Some of them were cattle leaders, so they've all just been taken out of the wild, brought into parks like this. She takes tourists on trips around the park, allowing them to get up close to the crocs, but not too close. They do seem terrifying, but if you respect them and their territory, I don't think that they would, you know, be as terrifying. I don't think that they've got a very bad rap with their name, which I think is very unfair on them because, you know, at the end of the day, they've been here for millions of years and we've been here for not as much. But her message is clear. Conservation isn't only about pandas, giraffes and cute koalas. Crocs may be super scary, but they need our protection too.